Yeah. Good day, student. Today we are going to talk about boring tools. Boring tools. And um, holding and holding devices. Boring tools. What is a boring tool? Or what are boring tools? Boring tools are hand tools that are used in a workshop in order to what to make a hole or to bore a hole on a plate or on an object when we say bore when you bore a hole it means you create a hole it could be circular in most cases holes are circular right so sometimes some people use nail with the help of hammer to drive in the nail in order to create hole but in this case we are talking about uh, boring tools that are being used in the workshop. It could be a mechanical workshop, it could be an electrical workshop, it could be a technical workshop. Man, let's see generally boring tools. And like I said, I said boring tools are hand tools that are used to bore hole or to create hole. That's one. Now let us see the categories of uh, boring tools that we have. Number one, we have um Brace, brace, brace. Now, brace is another equipment or antro that is used to create a hole. Now, there are two types of brace that is used in wood in wood workshop. We have wood brace and we have ratchet brace. Now, if you look at your test book. I cannot remember specifically the page, but the topic, which is a tools and machine, under you are going to see boring tools. We have different types of uh, designs, drawings that are there specifically meant for you to see so that you have an idea of what we call boring tools. And like I said, there are two types of a uh, brace that is used. We have the wood brace and then um, we have a uh, ratchet brace. Now, another one is a bit. Bit. Bit comes in different sizes. It is the bit that determines the type of O that you want to create in a specific object. It depends on the diameter or the circumference. It depends on the O that you want to create. And as you can see right on the board, look at this I mean Varieties of a hole that is being drilled. So they are of different size. So the bit that we use, we use the bit and the brace together. So the bit has to be fixed with the brace so that you use it to create a hole. It could be the bit and the brace could be electrically driven or manually driven. When we say electrically driven, it means it, is, it, it uses power, electricity to make it to function. And if it is a manual type, it means you use your hand. By the time you, you fix in the bit into the brace, you place it to the metal or to the material to be drilled, then you try to, you know, rotate it, to move it, you know, like that, to create a hole for you. Now, let us see. What is bit? Bit are tools that are fixed into braces for the boring of the hole. Tools, I mean, sorry, bit are tools that are fixed into brace, like as I've explained the other time. They are used to create hole. Then we have types of bits. We have center bits. We have center bits. We have twist bits, rose counter sink, snail bit, and shell bit. When you go to the textbook, you will see a lot there. Then another part, another type of uh, boring tools we have is bradol. Bradol. Bradol is a tool that is used to create a small hole, very small hole, smaller than this. Most especially when you look at your ceiling fan, your ceiling fan, we use Bradol or Gimlet or Gimlet to create, you know, it's very small. So that one you are going to use screw to hold whatever you have there on this, especially the ceiling fan. So we don't use Bradol or gimlet to create a big hole. 
You, if you can see them, they are very small. Check your, your textbook. They are there. I think that the last one which is gimlet. And gimlet is also used to bust moles in a wood for easy screwing. Whenever you need to use screw, you apply gimlet or bradol as a boring tool. And we have two types of uh, gimlets, namely Swiss gimlet and shell gimlet. Now, quickly, I want us to talk about uh, holding devices. Holding devices. Yes. Holding devices. Holding devices. They are holding devices that, are, that we used temporarily in holding a job. We call them, we refer to them as holding devices. Holding devices are temporary holding tool that is used in workbench in order to perform a specific job. Now, when we have seen a carpenter, like I told you, I said we don't call them carpenter, but they are called, they are referred to as a woodworker. When you see a woodworker working on a bench, that is what we call a device, a holding device, which is called cramp. They, we have categories of them that they use in order to work on a specific object. It's either like you want to saw, when you see a woodworker that is working on a wood, if you want to saw to, or to, to, to remove some, you know, I mean, some, uh, uh, some dirty things on the wood. So the, the woodworker will make use of what we call saw. So that means we use what we call plane. So it is the plane that is going to remove all the dirt on the wood. So he uses the plane just to make sure the wood is what? It's neat. So that is an object that they use, that's a device that we use. In, in order for you to have an easy job, we make use of a holding device. Or maybe you want to saw. We use sawing machine. If you want to use sawing machine to, to split wood into two, you make use of a holding device. You cannot hold a device. You cannot hold a wood. And, and, and somebody is now you know, trying to split it into two. It's dangerous. It is not technically wise. So what we implore is holding device. Now, we have types of holding device. We have workbench. We have bench hook, bench vise, bench stop, g clamp, sash clamp. All these they are what we call holding devices. Don't get it twisted, don't get confused. Holding device are specifically meant to hold a piece of job temporarily. Underline the word temporarily. Temporarily. So it makes the job neater, quicker, and easier for you. So this is where we are going to stop for today by the special grace of God. We are going to meet again. Thank you.